way to get to this stage. You have to find players that you can lab with, be comfortable with, build a scheme with. We see it at the top all the time, and that's what he's got in that support system. So they've hit the mute button on us, and now they're ready to go first and 10. And a nice throw to the outside by Tweez. Quick out route there. All parties are now saying, hey, there's a mute button. We can turn these guys up. They're trying to get that. Everyone's looking for that now. You see those coach adjustments, Scott. And once again, the nickel 3-3-5 odd defense, which means the Patriots defensive playbook because it's the only place you'll find it. And we've seen this set up from Tweez in the first match. It worked well. I was questioning, would he get pass protection? But he did. Yeah, you do. I agree. You know, you don't have a tight end that you can block. Oh, man. And there goes all that. You don't have the tight end. You can block the halfback. But with his ability to scramble with Russell Wilson and get back up the middle quickly, the edge pressure can come in. But you see if he can sneak out up the middle. So second and 10. And if I'm, if I'm eyeing any player, Scott, I want to keep my eye on K.J. Wright all game long. Boom. He brought so much heat off of that area. Crushed Duke multiple times. Well, we were riding in the Uber last night with Dubby and Skimbo on the way back from the barbecue. And they're like, in KJ Wright, we trust. Like, everything is on the defense. Now you got Earl. Don't get me wrong. Earl's going to do his yeah. thing. But so much pressure on KJ Wright doing his thing. Yeah, and, and Cam Chancellor, Earl Thomas, the Legion of Boom, those are the guys. Here's Thomas Rawls. Earl he gets Thomas to the numbers. And he's... Down at the 28-yard line, so Tweez, just another walk in the park. It's classic Madden. We got the guys on the couch. We got the head-to-head -head teams, and we also got somebody running the ball from an under-center offense. What year is it, Scott? And he hands it off to Rawls once again, and this time, nice adjustment by Chaos. Yeah, much better defense there. And the more and more you we talked about it before the game, he can adjust, understand. Hey, when this guy comes out in this formation, what does he want to do? That's the easiest thing you can understand. Every formation has little tells, and he'll start to pick them up as the game goes on. Got to keep an eye on Richardson on the right side as well. He can get deep. And there goes Russell Wilson. And he'll slide down at the 10-yard line. 17 yards for Russell Wilson. About 12 yards into that, I would have slid. <laughs> he got the extra five. Now he's down in the red zone. But this is where Chaos was able to change up his defense and lock down Duke. So I fully expect it to be much harder for Tweez to score. Remember, he got two big plays, so he didn't, we didn't really see his red zone stuff yet. In the red zone, Scott, that's, that's the hardest place to score. You call it the red zone, I call it the dead zone, especially this last 10 yards. For the second time today, we get a first and 10 from the 10. It's like the unicorn of Madden. Working that play clock. Spread out once again, and he goes up the gut to Rawls. And there's Cam Chancellor there to make the stop. Yeah, that's great work by Cam Chancellor to get down into the box and hold that to five yards. Lots of players like to utilize those safeties in the run game. You'll see them bring them down just a couple steps so that they'll actually take, uh, they'll play in the run fits. If they're in this cover four defense up in the top there, you'll see those guys play in the run game, get down in. And when you have Cam Chancellor and Earl Thomas, you're looking really, really good. You see he's dragging Earl down in there. User and Bobby Wagner here on a second and five. Back to Rawls. And there's Earl. Earl Thomas. We, we talked about him coming down into the box on that play. You see this formation here has a fullback dive. It has a halfback inside. It's got a quick pass to Rawls. And it's very solid. Let's go! And Wilson throws a pick. Let's Alexander go! alerts him. If I know that has a quick pass there, <laughs> Chaos knows he has a quick pass there. What an interception sitting over the middle. That's an area players like to target. That comeback route, the little angle route, because all stuff progresses in front of it, and then you just hit it on the backside. He waited, and it worked well. No high point pass there is going to go over that defender from how much depth that route has. So a really, really great play from Chaos to lock down one more time in the red zone. Well, now he's in the shadow of his own. Goal post, ball at the three yard line. And Chaos will go to work from the gun, standing in his own end zone. Wilson throws it deep, and Richardson, he's got the speed, but good stay in bounds. Take a look at it again there, Farles. I love Alexander just standing there, 
QB spy, I believe, so keeping his eye on the quarterback, but also doubles as a defender right across the short middle. He clicks on at the exact moment and gets the pick. That's high-level defense here. Yeah, not a user alert, but a great click on to make the play. You got to be careful back here in the gun. You could end up giving Tweez two points, second and ten. Got Eddie Lacy in there for maybe a bit more power. Yeah, seven defenders in the box. And he go! doesn't get rid of it. Come on, man. I'm not just a broadcaster. I'm also oh, psychic. Man. If you want to call in, I'll do some readings. You said it's very dangerous <laughs> to be in the shotgun down there, and safety has to be your primary thought. Two nothing, and now he's got a punt. That's not what you want for tweet uh, for chaos. You save yourself some, you save some points, but you end up still costing yourself there. He had the defenders up in the box, but you, you got to think maybe you're running out of your own shadow. He went for the big play. I respect it, but unfortunately it didn't work out for him. So first and ten from the thirty. Tweez goes back to work. After a safety, sometimes the only time you'll see a Madden player punt. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And even that is sort of painful for him. And he finds Tyler Lockett. Boy, it looked like he was going to get hit off that left, left edge and a nice pickup by the running back. Stepping up. Cam Chancellor, that's the difference. If that's Earl Thomas in the deep zone, he might break on that pass and actually defend it. Cam Chancellor's very good, but he's much more of a run game defender. Doesn't have the same zone coverage rating as Earl. So he doesn't quite get there. He's in the area. But if you're tweet, uh, Tweez, you know that. You're confident throwing that pass, and that's a strike to get you to midfield. Are you saying there's a 91 threshold? Is, is that what I just heard? I mean. <laughs> he takes it to the 24-yard line. We've seen a lot of QB scrambling today. Amazing work on the sticks from this kid, Tweez. Running with the quarterback is one of my favorite things to do. So to see it be executed at such a high level is very, very impressive. Not taking a lot of hits, sliding, Great work from Tweez with Russell Wilson, and that's one of the elements that the Seahawks do bring to the table. So ball at the 24, they'll stretch it outside, but Rawls will cut it back for three. And for the guys that are wondering at home, what formation is this? <laughs> you know, he's changing it up, but he is in the West Coast playbook. It's one of the, it's the only playbook in the game that has single back spread. Now, True Boy later today will be in Atlanta. I believe. And that has very similar look to it, but it's not quite the same. There's some different plays. Single back spread. And Russell Wilson will try to reach for the first down. It'll be just shy. It'll be third and one. Well, we saw a regular playbook last year, the Jumbo. Rest in peace. And so is the West Coast maybe the new meta for Rex? Could be pretty solid. I mean, you can't get it in Ultimate Team, so That's a lot right. of players just skip over it. Uh, you know, a couple years ago, Run and Gun, very popular. Some of those non-team specific playbooks really can't. And then some of it has old school stuff like the near and, near and far formation. Yeah. So, you know, it's all about finding that stuff and seeing if it works year after year. Often, I find those playbooks fall out of style because they'll add new things to the game, right. like uh, read options, and, and they don't necessarily go back and update those quite as much. So. For him to work this single back spread out of it, very impressive. On third and one, quick pass, and Richardson can't hang on, and so decision time. Fourth and one. Do you try to hit already a three-run homer here? I've already got two free points, you know? <laughs> this is critical, this fourth and one, but with your ability to run the ball like you have so far, I think you gotta go for it. You've already got a couple free points here. Why not make it a little bit more? He's going to the gun here on fourth and one. Knock Quick out. pass. Come on, game. And Lockett on. holds on, and ah, Chaos can't bro, believe that's it. wild, bro. Oh, my gosh. We are just listening to these guys react. They're on the couch, classic style. I've yelled out I think to so. anybody that will listen, the bad thoughts. So. Someone for the crowd yelled dot. Right. Oh, and Bobby Wagner, like an Olympic hurdleist. Making the play. Screams through the middle, tries to get the block. We've seen that. Unfortunately, Wagner's just running free. He's too athletic. He will get the sack there. Second and 17. Now you're in a tough situation. Wilson has all day. He'll roll left. Well, that's Russell Wilson. You got time. Then he just scrambles up and eats you up that way. 
Just making it look easy. Maybe had the drag late. Maybe had that crossing route if he really wanted to fit it in. Instead, the scramble. He keeps all his momentum in the pocket. That's what Tweez is doing so well. He's a very high skill level here. There's the low pass. Dropped. Not being able to hung on to. Well, it's Paul Richardson. Boy, he's putting a lot of faith in Richardson. I love Richardson on that nine route because he can really fly. But hands may be questionable. A beat joke with a deep route to Richardson, and I think a smart move here to take the three. You know, fourth and one, you don't mind going for it, but it's tough to pick up multiple fourth downs on one drive. Fourth and four, that area of the field so condensed. Good work across the middle from chaos to user. You don't want to rely on a scramble in a fourth and four situation. You got to figure he'd be looking for that. So you go up five nothing. Look, after the turnover, after the interception, that could almost ruin your whole game. You could really throw it out. Instead, you get two points, and then you turn it into three. And now, no matter what happens on this drive, you're sitting within a field goal of chaos. So really good start to the game for Tweez when it could have been a disaster. There's a handoff to CJ Procise. He doesn't get much. Coming to you live from LA, it's the Madden Classic. Scott Cole and Zach Farley. Can I say Coltrane and Z Farles? If you want. For the culture? If you can. Second and 10. Both these guys 1-0. and oh. He initially had Eddie Lacy in the game, but now you see ProSize standing next to Russell Wilson. Not sure if that's a blocking advantage or, I mean, he ran with ProSize in. And Russell oh, Wilson man. tried to sc scramble out to the right, but lost containment. And that's the move if you're Tweez. Hey, I'm not going to let Russell Wilson beat me. I beat people with Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson does not meet, beat me. So by putting those blockers in contain, they shed right off the edge, and Russell Wilson's not going to be able to escape. He's going to need a route here. He's going to need to chunk this down to about a fourth and seven or shorter to have a realistic shot at going for it on fourth down with two minutes left in the half. So third and 18. Here's the two-minute warning. Wilson just throws it for Baldwin, but he can't hang on. I need that. Oh my God. I need oh, that. Let's go. Crazy. Asking He's for a punt. The ball fourth and two and I can't catch the ball right there. That's crazy, dude. I love it. <laughs> they cheat. That, that sounds like if, my, if my, my man nice. MJD from Rusho and Drew. They're cheating oh, me, man. Seven, They're cheating four. me. So chaos. You hold them to a field goal here, which you've done. You've, you've stopped them in the red zone once. You get ball after the half. Eight nothing, worst case scenario. You're looking good. You just gotta stay in it mentally. You're getting frustrated by the game a little bit. Bill, maybe you wanna hang on to the ball. And Wilson. And Scott, when you have to, when you're not giving up big plays and you are forcing Tweez to run so many plays on a draft, he's already called 15, 16 plays this game. That's when you start to get the adaptive AI in your own brain of here's what, I know what to do because I've seen him run so many plays. If he hits a big play, he doesn't have as much time to study. And Tweez oh fits it in there to the 46. Right Gonna be just Yo, shy of the crazy. sticks. What's very interesting Yo. is that joke was on the Yo, TV this on the is left. Crazy, dude. He was what is going on? at the game. Chaos is on the other TV. He was at the game. It's intense. It's intense. Doesn't matter where you are. When you're on a couch, you're angry. Third and one. Under a minute to go in the half. Low pass. This time Richardson is able to dig it out to the 47-yard line. So I joke go for the low pass. Or I do go for the low pass against Joke. That's an amazing low pass right there. That's something you got to look out for because high pass this year. Remember guys like Monster, Red Zone, high pass, high pass, high pass. Well, this year it's just overthrow, overthrow, overthrow. So to see somebody go with the low pass, I kind of like it, and I'm thinking about adding it to my game. Remember, though, because of the target pass, low pass this year is now L1 and down on the left stick, whereas high pass is L1 and up on the left stick. So it's a little bit tougher. Uh, you don't have to remember two buttons now. You just got to remember one button, but use the left stick. LB for those that are playing on a superior system. Hey, man, Xbox. <laughs> it's good stuff. First and 10. Running out of time here in the half and just able to get rid of it. It might have had another lane to scramble, but I think he wanted more. He had some deep routes crossing across the field. In those out routes, he has a play, deep outs, with stock out routes built in now. 
they get great depth. Some of the only routes in the game, stock, that you don't have to hot route and then smart route. Another low pass, and he'll use one of those two timeouts. So 13 seconds, he's at the 41. And this is where Atlanta does have an advantage in the kicking game with Bryant over Blair Walsh. Forgot to use that advantage last year in the Super Bowl, but maybe they'll use it today. <laughs> Let's see if he can get into field goal range. Russell Wilson. He's got some blockers. And he'll get out of bounds at the 20. Do you, do you try one time? Six seconds, you have a timeout at the 20. One shot. Yeah, you have to. I thought he was going to spin with Russell Wilson and just <laughs> take the roof off this place. But he decided to leave the roof on because he's got one more game left. And he looks like he's going to be advanced. Remember, top three advance out of group stage. But he's going to go ahead, select field goal, make it 8 nothing. Don't screw it up. You've already turned the ball over once in the red zone. You've been given a couple gifts, according to Chaos. Why not just go up 8 nothing and then try and D up? And going up 8, now Chaos sort of has to chase the points. Yeah, it's going to get interesting. From what I saw in the Duke game for Chaos, he does not have two-point conversion plays. You know, that, that's something that evolves as the year go, goes on. I don't think he would... It's not like he's showing up to this thing with, I can get two whenever I need it, that players have in the past. So it's just going to be a dogfight. Now it's a coin flip if you score whether or not you're going to tie the game. And you never want it to be a coin flip. One second, one play, one shot here for Chaos, and he'll put it on the ground to Rawls. No Duke magic there. Yeah. No Duke magic long run end of the half, but a solid half from Tweez. You have to be proud of that. Chaos, you were very resilient, but now you have to think about your opening drive. Eight-point lead for Tweez here at the half over that man right there, Chaos, and still has some work to do, but it's only eight-point game. Yeah, and you just have to find a way to shut down Russell Wilson. It's something he wants to go to. The difference between a lot of players at home and a lot of players here is Russell Wilson is what he does after he makes three, four reads on a play. Whereas players that at home, maybe they get a fast quarterback and ultimate team, Mariota, Michael Vick, they just hike the ball and they go, I'm going to run it. And so that is the difference in what Tweez is doing. Watch his game in the second half and see what you can take. But if you're chaos, you just got to find a way, whether it's through spies, contains, blitzing pressure, to not let him get that. But it's really hard because he's making great reads when he does try and take it away. How about this? I got I got Dubby behind me here. You got you got tree you got True Boy uh, back there. He's getting ready to go. And of course, there's our guys, Dave and Rico. Here we are. Thank you very much, Scott. Appreciate it. Now, Rico, it is eight nothing right now at the half. There's been a safety, some field goals, kind of an unconventional game so far. If you're chaos, we heard Farrell's talk about defense. How does he get back into this thing on offense? He needs to figure out a way to move the ball consistently. Right now, he looks like he's a little confused on offense. What he wants to do is being taken away by Tweez right now. He's down 8 nothing. That is the best possible situation he could be in, given the events that have taken place in the first half. But he's still in a terrible position. Does Tweez not having that online background, is, are you seeing that really actually have an effect now that we're here on the big stage, on the couch together? Absolutely. In between the games, you saw Joke was talking to some of the other players, and he honestly said, I couldn't stop him. He didn't know what to do to try to take away everything. Because as soon as you try to take away one thing, that leaves another thing open, and then he always has the quarterback that he can run with. He's taking his yards, he's not fumbling, he's getting down. Right now, Tweez, tough guy to stop. Yeah, that's a recipe for success, for sure. Now, as we're getting our new season started here at the Madden Classic, let's check out how things ended last May. Taking a look back at where we left off last May in the Madden 17 Championship. In the semifinals, the first game was Skimbo against Spot Me Please. We see Skimbo taking the early lead, 7-0 in the first half. Not to be outdone, Skimbo's going to play a little defense to a pick in the red zone. Little man freaking out. Spot Me can't believe it. Skimbo continued his onslaught. Spot Me responded back as well. Offensive game all the way through. There is Skimbo in the fourth quarter, putting it away. That's a touchdown. Skimbo moves on to the final, beating Spot Me 20 14 our second semifinal game was a classic joke against problem right from the get-go joke was scoring early problem responded in the red zone tying things up 7-7 but the big play in the fourth quarter problem second kick return of the game finally an interception with a minute left to seal the game skimbo and problem are the ones facing off in the final of the madden 17 championship this was a final to remember 
two of the best players in the game today. Skimbo scoring early, bouncing outside on a halfback toss in the red zone. Problem knew that he had to show up on defense like he always does. There it is with a user pick from Deion Sanders in the third quarter, turning the momentum around. Skimbo emotional, but the future champion showed up on a huge seam route down the middle with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter and one final defensive stop down the right side. Michael Skimbo wins. Michael Skimbo is your Madden 17 champion. Oh, Rico, that was back in May. It's getting a little dusty in the yeah. bank. Hey. <laughs> We're Thinking back to how good happy Skimbo was finally getting over that hump and getting that belt. That's right. Now, Skimbo's going to be playing a little bit later today. Where do you see him match up in that group? Uh, you got to knock the champ out. He came to that first challenger in New York and ran through the competition. I saw him. He looked very confident. He was executing on both sides of the ball. He's been playing down that he doesn't feel as comfortable right now with everything in the patches and the updates. I think he has a little something for everybody. Look for Skimbo to make some noise. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Let's take a look at our schedule for the remainder of Group B. There it is right there. Joke taking on Chaos. Tweez taking on Duke. Three guys are advancing out of this group. And right now, Adrian is with Tweez. Adrian? Thanks, Dave. So, Tweez, you're leading right now 8 nothing. You secured a safety early in the first. Can you t walk us through that? I mean, I just sent five and was hoping I got pressure. It just was lurking in the middle. That's about it. And, it, and I executed all of it. And you're coming into this game one nothing against a veteran player, and now you have someone who's more junior, kind of moving into his flow. Can you tell us, how do you prepare for something like that? I mean, I was watching film on calls, like the trips tight end and all that, so, you know, that's about it, really. I was just preparing for him. And this is your first major live EA event. How do you like it under the bright light so far? I mean, I like it. It's cool. I like it a lot. I mean, it's perfect to me. All right, well, wish you the best of luck in the next half. To you guys at the caster desk. Thanks so much, Adrian. I like it. I like it a lot. It's good, man. It's good. I'm glad he's having a good time. This is a great event. It's really cool for me to see the players all interact. You know, they play a lot online. Not as much him, but <laughs> they play a lot online. They meet. They chat. To meet in person, hang out with you guys, go out, meals. It's just a Madden clinic. You sit there. You just soak it in. You get better just by listening to these guys chat all day long. Well, what if he does this? Well, I'm going to do that. So it's great for these guys to get together here in Los Angeles and really just get out and kind of enjoy being a top competitor in the perks that it brings. Well, what does Chaos got to do to get back in this one? Opening drive. That's it. You've only ran, you ran two plays and then three plays. So you ran five plays. That's nothing. That's nothing. You have a great offense. You just have to get it going. You need one drive, and you're completely back in the game. You com you just don't worry about the first half. It doesn't matter. It doesn't just pretend that he scored on that route across the middle and score. That's it. What would Coach Gibbs say to you right now? Was that a Farrell's comment, or was was that Coach Gibbs talking in your headset? Coach Gibbs would just remind you that you're terrible, you have no <laughs> reads, and go home. But he's not here. No. We are. And chaos <laughs> is going to receive this thing, and I expect a big-time drive from Gun Trips tight end. I want to a lot of people didn't get to see his stuff against Duke. Oh, yeah. It's just so, it looks so easy. Yep. It looks so easy. So take notes on this Gun Trips tight end and start to get those yards from negative 19 more towards positive 19. Well, yeah, it's worth noting. I mean, he started from his own three yard line, you know, and gave up the safety. So he hasn't really had what I'd call many pure possessions. This is one of his best starting points to. Here one on the offensive side of the ball, and Richardson somehow hangs on and makes a move and moves the sticks. Yeah, first completion of the day here. Gets it going, first down. Start to get that confidence. Start to think, how do I get to midfield? How do I get into the red zone? How do I punch it in? Just worry about these next plays. Pressure there was faked. He's got to look out for that. Let's keep Russell Wilson in the pocket and deliver some strikes. PA around. No, he actually runs an end around. <laughs> Goes with the end around. He ran this against Duke yeah. earlier in the red zone. He audibles to that play. Duke ran commit the second he noticed it. But right there, Tweez wasn't ready. And picks up seven yards. Just a way to kind of hold the edges and give it a different look. I just had a flashback. You know what I'm saying? So I had to say PA around because who runs the end around? Well, there's your answer. Chaos does. Third and four. He tried to go with a draw. Draw is really good against cover four, but didn't work in that situation. Cover two defense. 
high pressure meta on third and four here from Tweez. Look to it, look for these guys coming off the edge to get in. So you're saying a Tampa two here on third and four. Throws it to the outside. And he moves it to the 46 yard line and that's enough for a first down. You have to target the flats. You have to hit those consistently. You have to be comfortable against this defense taking drags, taking flat patterns, and just moving the chains. He's got a new set of downs. Richardson to the left. There's Lockett in the slot, and he's got Dougie Baldwin and Snuggy. Yeah. Seven guys on the logo. Seven guys on the Madden Classic logo. So he'll go to the air, and it's a quick throw to Richardson that was nearly picked off. Fitting it in. Tough living, but when you have that many guys in the middle of the field, you send them. He fills it in the backside. Smart read. You'd like to see it a little bit more open, but a good way to get seven yards here. That confidence in that throw on first down. Second and three. Already a bunch of time gone by here in the third. Trailing by a score, but it's going to take a full eight. And there's the block shed on the outside. Oh yeah, he's just Shedding trying to step out of the pocket, and the contain is breaking off the rush. And it, it's almost a self-inflicted sack. You've got to keep things positive, stay up in the pocket, and just deliver the ball up. Once again, third and 14 here. He's probably going to go for this. So you want to make it fourth and eight or less so you feel like you have a play because there's not really a fourth and 14 call that you want, would feel confident about. Yeah, right. Not a true block shed, but just really getting out of the pocket. Third and 14. Let's go home, man. Wow, K.J. Wright. Live by K.J. Wright. Die by K.J. Wright. Right now you are living well with K.J. Wright. He's eaten. It's oh, tough man. because he ate for chaos in the first game, but now it's Tweez with the K.J. Wright. That pressure off the left edge. He can't step up, step out of it. The blocker can't get back over. Procise doesn't pick it up. And now it's a fourth and 21, and you go for it here because you've spent some time on this drive. There's only, you know, it's about to be the fourth quarter, so you need a prayer on fourth and 21. This is where you, you dream something up. Maybe it's an out. Maybe it's, you, they're not going to give it the obvious ones here, so you got to fool them. No PA read here on fourth and 21. Yo, come on, man! He, Yo, that's crazy, dude! I think he felt like he might have had a so Oh my he, gosh! It's like he had an in route, which he smart routed, so it was gonna run the distance. Oh my Like the read, God. ran the safety away, oh, but a bad wow. throw. Unfortunately for Chaos, gets batted down. Just an eight point game. You still okay with him going? I know hindsight's 20-20. I, I I don't mind it at 4th and 12. I really don't like it at 4th and 21. But if you think you have the play, Scott, then you go for it. Just so it's really crazy, hard to get fumbles oh in this one. Gosh. So he knows he's not going to get the ball back. It's already oh the 4th quarter. Gosh, you feel like you're here because of your offense. You stick with it. You stick with it. And it's a little bit unconventional. But now what is wrong with this game, you're just bro? struggling. Game's always broken when you're losing. Game is great when you're winning. Russell Wilson, he's got the mobility. He's solid. But that's why a lot of people choose Atlanta. His throw right? powers kind of he doesn't have a he doesn't he's not Matt Stafford. He's he not was, Matt Stafford on 21 yard in. I already told you earlier he played second base. But you have negative that's not 13. A and Thomas Rawls will move to the 15, but isn't that why some people have a little more faith in a Matt Ryan throwing the football than Absolutely. a Russell Wilson? And you have a Julio Jones where if everyone knows where the ball's going, it can still go to Julio Jones. So Tweez first is too good to get beat on that. Tweez is too good to get beat on that. It's, it's a tough throw, but. Let's and go! Rawls will make this a two score game. He's gonna try to go up 15 here, and you're right. Oh, TR's eaten. Seems like that, that play took Chaos's mental state out of the game. That fourth and 21 where he got the bad throw, immediately turns it over. He then runs it right in. Look at this. Rawls up the middle. Bad user by Alexander. Fills the wrong gap. Shed can't block it. And this is great on the couch. You get awesomeness <laughs> and disappointment all in the same shot. We haven't had that because these players are used to sitting one on one TV, one on the other TV, two separate chairs. But you get to see that juxtaposed is awesome. Loving the classic format here. It's a 15 point lead for Chaos who pretty much motorboated joke. And now he's land blasting chaos. 
Big drive here from the man from Maryland. So he picks up the pressure off the left side, is patient, and Lockett gets shifty with it. A good adjustment there from Chaos to finally get the blocker over. He's, he actually picks up the pressure from the left side. That gives him enough time to work the middle. He has his timeouts in before. He just needed one drive. Now he needs two, but you can only score one drive on a, one touchdown on one drive, so you really have to do worry just about this drive only. Wilson will scramble, he'll slide down at the 44. And Tweez contained his rushers there, but he stepped up in the pocket, stayed patient, and he got yards with Russell Wilson. That's the advantage you have with Russell Wilson. It's not his arm, it's his legs. And you can tell when he's in contained because of the angles that the rushers take on the outside, where number 70 is on the left side of the screen. So second and four. He has a man, and Dougie Baldwin lays out for it. And he wants, you need a rack catch. catch. He wants to catch that in stride. Doug Baldwin has to lay out a little bit inaccurate there. Maybe too much pass lead on the play. Maybe the feet weren't set. It looked good. It was wide open. And that's what I saw from uh, Chaos in the first game. And at this point, it's got what he's going to need in the third game if he wants to be one of the three people coming out of Group B. Yeah, throw might have been a little late as well. And there's Lockett down to the 23-yard line, chewing up some valuable clock, trailing by 15. Pop, lock it, drop it. He dropped a couple, but right there, easy pass across the middle. Moving moving it. As long as you have your timeouts, you're okay with the clock situation. Wilson has time. Good pass lead. Defender in the flat zone. Pass lead right there, up the field. Gave it just enough of a window for him to hang on to it. That's the first time he's targeted Jimmy Graham, who had a big game for him earlier. So you gotta look to Jimmy Graham in the red zone with that height. You'd love to score before the two minute warning. Come, Checks it down to lock what it. What is wrong with this game? I've rocked seven times. Let me get out of bounds. So he would have liked to catch Yo, that. this game's, oh my God, stop cheating me, man. Just stop. It's become contagious. Man, yeah. dude. Did not hold the uh, X button for the rack catch, or perhaps he feels like he did hold down the X button for the rack catch, but he would have been able to go out of bounds, save some time, get another play before the two-minute warning. Instead, he doesn't, does a soliloquy, and uh, now we're back at it here. 11-yard line. Excuses are a bridge to nowhere. That's all I know. But you're frustrated. I mean, you want to try to make a play. You're trying to fight. And Jimmy Graham drops it at the six-yard line. Yeah, threw a high pass there. We talked about it in the red zone. Had the curl. Rather than you, you expose yourself to a hit when you go with the high pass. The, it was open. You had a line there. Maybe didn't need to go with the high point. But you don't want to get picked off in the middle. And this game will be over with an interception. Third and seven. Ball at the 11. 156. Tweez leading by 15. Both guys with all three timeouts. And both these guys 1-0 so far in their groups. Only a three-man rush. Yo, like this, this game is so gosh darn bad, bro! Oh my gosh! Stop! Getting out of his head right now. Like this, this game, game is, is so, so bad. bad! Oh my gosh! He's gonna end up in an internet meme if he's not careful. It's okay, I called Maryland what bad earlier. What is wrong earlier. with this game? So. I, I, I deserve it a little bit. I feel like he probably yelled at the refs when he played basketball. <laughs> Fourth and seven. This is it. And he so throws bad, in the man. double coverage. That, that one was not the game. That was that was not the read. Cheating me the whole game, man. And point differential, Scott. Huge. We haven't talked about it as much because three guys advanced, but now you're one and one. You're giving so up 15. Crazy. But you got to fight here. You got three timeouts. You got to fight. <laughs> you got to fight. You can't give up because points are huge. Points are very critical at this stage. You've got a big game coming up next, and he's just checked out. He's, he's checked into the same hotel that Joke stayed in last year. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, this it's is not Thomas Rawls. This is not going to be good. This is not oh, going to be good. Cuts it back oh my God. on Earl, and Earl finally takes him down at the 34-yard line. I know we already have a competitor in the championship series named Stickwork, who made an event last year. It's true. Great, great young talent, but this is Stickwork right here. That was some amazing cuts on that play. GG's in the chat. LL's in the chat. <laughs> I mean, you take three points and make it 
And now you gotta, now you gotta fight against that in this next game when you've already been struggling, feeling like everything's going against you. It's, it's very challenging. Chaos is gonna have to take on Joke. And then we'll have the battle for Louisiana. Battle of the Bayou. <laughs> wow, man. Rico's, down on the Bayou. Rico's gonna do some water boy jokes for us at the half. You remember the time that Bobby Boucher showed up and they won the Bourbon Bowl? Coach, not only will I do it for you, <laughs> Yes, yes, I will do it for you. <laughs> so under 20 seconds to go, and you start talking to yourself. I'm just, I'm just examining. I'm just watching, soaking it in. 17 seconds here. You, you know, now you have used your last of your timeouts. You're at the 11-yard line. You're probably already going. You, you know, you got to feel good about your advancing. But Scott. The number one seed in this thing. We haven't even stated how important that is. Because you get a bye. You're automatically in the final four with the number one seed. That's amazing. If you're Trey, youngster, you're in the final four. You now use one game and you've got enough points to really move along. So that's a huge aspect of this for Tweez. And you're playing Duke, who's only two. So you really got to like this position that you're in. So after the field goal, only a few precious mm. seconds left. And Chaos is going to actually come out here and take a knee. Oh the kneel for Chaos, he didn't have any answers that game. Only 8 nothing at the half, but just the overthrow hurt him. And then Tweez able to capitalize on some great field position, got the safety. Could have been different for Tweez. That game could have gone completely different after the interception in the red zone, but instead, and now, this is something we've seen in Madden quite a bit. They lose a game and then they have to go right over and play, and that if a, they just never get their composure back. That's why I said it was great for Joke to have a break now, but Chaos has to go and just play another game where it, you know he'll either be in or out. That's really tough on him. He's got to find a way to get his composure back. Maybe a hug from Matster Gamer. <laughs> like That could really just bring you back. I'll take one of those. Is it, you know, is, yeah. is there a take a number option for that? Yeah, he's in the house. We, it's so cool to have so many of the competitive Madden players, even though they're not in our eight for this Madden Classic, show up, support their guys, whether it's labbing or just overall, you know, sitting in the crowd rooting for them. And of course, tomorrow for the finals, we're going to have a nice crowd in here. Big time crowd, lots of people coming out to Burbank. They want that Jerry Rice that they hear about, and they also <laughs> want to see some high level Madden too. And right now, it's looking like they could see Tweez tomorrow in those finals if he keeps this up. Not looking at Chad, but I just, I just guarantee codes, codes, codes. Let's go over to Adrian. I'm over here with the winner, 18 nothing. Tweez, you beat Chaos. How do you feel? I feel good. Two and zero. I think I advanced to the next round. I'm just happy right now. Yeah, I could imagine. Pretty excited, pretty happy. And you're going to go on to face a veteran player, Duke, later. How are you going to approach that since you were just coming off playing more of a rookie player? I mean, I'm ready. Like I said, just it's kill to be killed. I'm ready to lock in. <laughs> now, you're not showing too much emotion right now, but are you kind of having an out-of-body experience? Yeah, yeah, I am. It's probably very, very surreal. And, you know, you're sitting next to someone who's pretty emotional, chaos. He was really feeling the moment, yet you kept your composure. Can you tell us, how did you do that? Um, my music, for real. That's it. <laughs> like, this is my music. Like, music keep me calm. And what were you listening to? Um, Davies. Very nice. And you're having fun? Yeah, I'm having fun. Yeah, gotta have fun. Wish you the best on the rest of the ride. Back to you guys. Thanks, Adrian. We're all having fun, right?